Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, video today will be on the braking problems we have here with the Project Red Line. It's not it's nineteen. 82, I think, no VIN number on this thing. It's a race car, half the firewall was missing when I got it. So, I assume 82, plastic bumper bars, so should be uh, should be 82-ish, somewhere around there, early 80s. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna work on the braking system because if anyone's aware of our Project Redline series is over on full boost, you'll know that braking system on this car's never been great. So it has four disc brakes, but it's just got series one RX-7 discs up front and series three discs up back which should be enough to, you know, affect the decent pull up on this thing. However, issue I've always run into is um, the pedal just felt like it was doing nothing. Um, and what I've noticed is since I was able to get uh, the fuel tech onto this thing, I now run, you can see down there, uh, a fuel tech brake pressure sensor on it. And what I saw is at max effort, which is, um, it's not even almost an effort you can do, um, in the car yourself when you're driving, it's literally grabbing both hands with the steering wheel and using the heel of my foot to push on the pedal, push it almost flexing the entire firewall. I was getting uh, about 800 PSI and then it would just slowly gradually drop as well. So anyone that knows disc brake setups in cars knows that uh, it should be more like around 15, 14, 1500 PSI uh, brake pressure. Uh, if you had drums, it might be around I think 800 to 900, but yeah, this thing to it only hit around 800 and then keep on dropping, it's terrible. So I've found also if I push the pedal like about a third, it might go to only about 80 PSI and then it would just drop to zero. So there's obviously a problem with uh, the master or or the um, the booster or something. So I, uh, I broke it because I, I break things. Um, but it, yeah, I only had a booster on it for I don't know why, to be honest, but um, yeah, it doesn't. All this was actually a little bit wet, and the back of the the back of the master cylinder was a bit wet too. So um, this is off a. I can't remember. <laughs> I think this is like a late seventies nine two nine, which is like an RX four type of body shape. Um, yeah, and I just thought, oh, yeah, I'll put a booster, make the pedal a bit softer, uh, whatever, because I was just also going to be using um, a run-of-the-mill sort of um, uh, master cylinder, which I didn't know, which I'll show you what I ended up going with, which is it's a fairly common sort of upgrade, but it's one from like a late 70s, I think early 80s, Nis uh, Nissan Patrol. Now... A lot of people seem to have success and a lot, a lot of people seem to have a lot of problems with these as well. So I don't know if maybe the, the braking system of this, it's just not working with the, the calipers that I've got or something, but yeah, I need to sort it out. So what, so what I'm actually gonna do here is, I have this plate that was on the car when I got it and I just, I've kept most of the stuff that was on the car. So I'm just gonna bolt that back. I'll belt this plate on here, drill the two holes, and then I'll mount that straight onto the firewall so there's no booster and I'll see if that improves uh, the braking pressure if if it still doesn't then what I'm essentially going to do is I'll just track down like an RX-7 master like a series 3 RX-7 master because this is a ser series 3 RX-7 braking system so it should be no problems at all so uh, the re residual pressure springing that is out of that i know some people are probably saying you've got to do that yes don't worry i definitely did that um, but it's still not it's still just not working uh, the way it should you probably won't be able to see it but yeah there's when i took the master off it was just wet in here so uh we'll get onto that now and yeah we'll see what the brake pressure comes out at
time for some quick muffs. Two plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick muffs. Plunger from the, uh, that came out of the uh, booster. So from there to there's 95, we know that length. I know the length when this was actually put into the master cylinder just then and was poking out from the firewall, just 65 mil. So there's this much of it was 65 mil. From the firewall, to the hole in the, in the actual um, where the clevis goes for the pedal is 130. So I know that this distance plus this distance is how long my new plunger needs to be. So 130 here plus 95 minus 65 is 160 mil all up. So I have to make this a total of uh, of 165. So of 160 sorry so what i'll do is i'll get a, a high tensile bolt like this uh, and i'll just fashion it down to a rounded tip like that and um hopefully i can get one that's got thread all the way because the clevis um, will then just easily just thread onto the end of it so uh which is here so if i could make you know if, i'm not sure if i can get all thread in whatever this is uh, looks like it's uh, M10. I can't say if it's coarse or fine at the moment, but if I can get actually a uh, threaded rod in M10, uh, then that will be the best scenario. And then that'll just screw on the back of it, fashion the end of it to be the same as that, and then job done. So this is your original plunger, push rod from, uh, hacked out of the booster. Just want to see what the length was, I couldn't use it, so. I've got an M10 uh, bolt, this thread was M10, so couldn't find a fine thread M10 bolt that was long enough. So this is coarse, uh, this is just a coarse thread. I welded a different nut on here. Uh, I've got a, a locking nut, and then I've just ground it down and then just finished it up here. I mean, it should have enough tensile strength that it's not gonna bend or flex, but going by the measurements, this should be right. So we'll smack this in the car now and see what kind of brake pressure we can generate. I'm all for safety, but i tell you what, this crossbar will be a hell of a lot lower in the next car I build because, and this, uh, this Sainz bar sort of throw back to FIA spec. Uh, I might even cut that out before I start racing. It is a pain in the ass because I am 6'2 and I've got big long legs. So anyway, let's take a look at this. Now, if we're looking at brake P right here and I'll try and give it one almighty push. You can see sort of it peaked at 800, but trying to hold the pedaler as hard as I can, 600 PSI, it's just not enough. Um, this this should have close to, you know, um, I mean, it's manual braking system now, it doesn't have a booster, but it should at least be 1200 plus PSI. So 600 PSI is just not gonna force those calipers out and put enough clamping load on the on the rotors, which is why we're having braking issues. But you'll even see this at where, um, if I put a bit of pressure on the pedal, it's at least holding sort of some pressure now, but it's just not enough, uh, there's just not enough pressure there. So I think we'll get a different master and see how we go. Well, that should just about do us for this week. Uh, got a bit of work to do, as you can see. Got to uh, install that in the old F truck. So we'll get that underway today and you'll see that on full boost over the coming uh, weeks or maybe about a month or so, something like that. So get all that sorted, get it all in. And now I'll order another master cylinder also for that um, that 626 because 600 PSI isn't going to pull up anything. So, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I've, I've read a lot of comments from people having good experiences with the patrol ones and bad experiences. Obviously, for whatever reason, it's just not working. I've, I've bled the system that many times. It, you know, it's set up exactly how it should be for forward disc brakes. So, um, yeah, not sure. Um, whatever. Maybe the throw on the pedal, it's the wrong ratio or something. Uh, could be a could be a factor so um i'll get a series 3rx7 one should be all the same so we'll sort out that um yeah if you like these videos uh, i've got a lot more content coming up please subscribe it makes a big difference to the channel and how facebook will find us but more so how you'll find these videos going forward because yeah we're brand new so we need subscription up first before uh, anyone else actually finds us organically so you guys are probably just finding this by me sharing it on instagram or a facebook group or something like that but the only way you're going to find it going forward is is really to subscribe so subscribe click the bell for all notifications and um 
yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time.